Welcome to the fifth event of the TBN Marble Championship Season 2. This is a very new and unique event that uh, the committee managed to come up with. Block bumping. But it's not quite the block bumping that you, uh, that you know. So what will happen is all four of the team members will fall into those, those funnels that you can see. And individually they will fall into the chutes. And as a team they will have to push those blocks as far as they can. And the one who pushes it further than the other will advance. So we're about to see it in action. Wayfinders on the bottom, Swamp Crashers on the top, and three of their team members each are going to hit very quickly. The Wayfinders, though, are going to get the better of the Swamp Crashers in this one. Team Horizon and the Flaming Cobras now. So now you ha kind of have an idea of how it's going to work. Flaming Cobra is a notoriously strong team, at least compared to Team Horizon. They're going to they're have a couple of them push immediately, and that is already much further then Team Horizon. Are they going to make it just as far, though? That is going to be very close. But not quite enough. Flaming Cobras will advance over Team Horizon. Ultraviolets and Team Watermelon now. Two teams that are quite high up in the standings so far. And so they're definitely going to want to advance here. Team Watermelon well, Team Watermelon falls first. They're all going to hit very quickly, though. Team Watermelon are ahead. Can the Ultraviolets push further? No, it's, it's going to be very close, but no. Team Watermelon will edge out the Ultraviolets in this event. Rosemary's and the Foresters now. These two very big rivals of each other. Rosemary's were not in Season 1, but uh, off camera. The Foresters and the Rosemary's, big rivals of each other. The Rosemary's are going to get off to a much earlier lead. Oh, and that is going to be very close. Insanely close. But the Foresters, if you look at it very closely, are just a little bit ahead. And they will advance. Midnight Stars and Team Mariana. The Midnight Stars title defense going absolutely horribly for them. Almost have to feel for them. Team Mariana also not having a very good league so far. Apart from their gold medal in the first event, it just hasn't gone their way. This time it is finally going to, though. Team Mariana will beat out the Midnight Stars in quite a healthy margin, might I add. Black Markers and the Twilights. Another two teams that are notoriously strong. The Twilights are going to get an early lead. And they're going to keep that lead, despite uh, looking a little awkward there. The Twilights will advance over the Black Markers, who are also kind of not having a very good league so far. Team Clarity and the Windbreakers, two very white teams, I guess you could say. They're going to get released into the uh, funnels now. The Windbreakers are going to hit very early. Team Clarity are going to push very far. And the Windbreakers are going to get very close, but Team Clarity, not a team known for their strength, is going to move on. Very interesting. The Berry Blasters now and the Red Riots. We've seen that bottom lane is looking uh, very strong, much stronger than the top one. So the Berry Blasters are at a disadvantage here, but the Berry Blasters, a very strong team, and they're going to absolutely destroy the Red Riots despite being in the lane seemingly with a disadvantage. So the Windbreakers, best of the rest, with the Rosemary's Team Horizon just behind. Midnight Star is getting zero points, and now we're in the second half of, the se of this season now, so the Midnight Star has really got to get their act together at some point. Now with the semifinal, the quarterfinal I should say, Foresters and the Wayfinders. All the Foresters hit almost immediately, and it's too far for the Wayfinders to, uh, to catch up. So the Foresters will advance to the semifinal. Flaming Cobras and Team Mariana. Team Mariana are definitely going to want this, but the Flaming Cobras haven't had the greatest league so far either. So they're both going to want this. Both have two left. Sorry, Mariana will have one left. Oh, gosh. Hitting all very quickly. The Flaming Cobras, though, destroying Team Mariana. And uh, I would say not a surprise to anyone. That would sound a little biased, though. I don't mean it to. Berry Blasters and the Twilights. Another two teams that are very big rivals of each other. And the Berry Blasters are going to hit first, but the Twilights have an early lead. A, a huge hit for the Berry Blasters there. And it's not going to be enough for the Twilights to come back from. So the Berry Blasters will advance to the semifinal. Team Watermelon and Team Clarity now. They are uh, off, uh, off the camera and off the track. These two are very good friends of each other. But also, you know, friendship turns into rivalry on the track. And in this case, Team Clarity are going to win out. It's Team Watermelon... Not as good a push as they had in the first round. And so they will only get 8th, with the Twilights managing to uh, make the most out of their uh, failures. Team Mariana also, 6th, is not too bad. So 
Now we move on to the semifinals. The Foresters and the Barry Blasters now. Two teams that are very strong in uh, in teamwork events. The Barry Blasters are going to have a huge hit right out of the gate. The Foresters are going to need a very big hit to come back from that, but they do not. And so the Barry Blasters will be in the final with the winner of the next match. Foresters will fall to the third place match with the loser of this one. Team Clarity and the Flaming Cobras. Very interesting. Team Clarity have never been known for their strengths, but they are absolutely dominating this event. They're in the lead so far, and all they need to do is push it a little further. Yes, they do. Team Clarity is in the final for a strength event. So now we move to the third place match. The Foresters and the Flaming Cobras now. These were two of the earliest teams to uh, to join this uh, this tournament. And it looks like the Foresters are going to get out to an early lead. But the Flaming Cobras still have two marbles to fall. They push ahead. Foresters have a massive hit though. And they're going to steal the bronze right from the Flaming Cobras. Foresters with the bronze. But now we head to the final. Team Clarity and the Berry Blasters. The strongest team versus the weakest team. But uh, the Team Clarity have surprised us enough. So we don't know who's going to win this. The Berry Blasters get out to an early lead, and it's only growing. Team Clarity are going to need a very good one here, but it is not enough. Despite a very good push, the Berry Blasters will get the gold in block bumping. You can see the uh, how close they were there. I'd say it close. It wasn't very close. Berry Blasters, ultimately the stronger team, so they will get the gold over Team Clarity and the Foresters. Midnight Stars down there, Black Markers, Swamp Crashers, Ultraviolets. Falling apart a little bit, they are. So in the overall, Team Watermelon maintain the lead, but the Foresters and Team Clarity are very quickly catching up. Berry Blasters also having something to say. Next up, the Distance Drag.